we have one mic for you. Great to get out uh, on the field today. Ended up being a beautiful day. Weather held out. It was uh, great for us to get outside. Um, uh, really excited about you know being able to get out there. You know, the challenge for us is, as players and coaches, don't make the same mistake, mistake twice. Continue to grow. I love the energy, enthusiasm. Uh, day one, that's really easy. We got to continue to to have that type of focus and energy every single day. Believe this group has the ability to do that. Uh, you know, just you know, our practice habits so much cleaner. Communication, efficiency, just moving around the practice field, uh, really good. So, um, looking forward to watching it this afternoon with the, with the guys and, and our staff. Questions? Let's start with Adam and then go to Rob. Uh, Hendon uh, had the best touchdown to interception ratio in the country last year. Could, could he throw a few more picks and still be a better, more effective player? Maybe could he take more risks, or is it only, should only be judged by the fewest mistakes he makes? Do not, do not uh, turn the ball over more than we did last year. Let's take care of the football and everything that we're doing. Ball matters. Um, you know. You know, for, for Hendon, and, and I've said this to him, and, and I think you guys know that too, like this year's not about stats, um, touchdowns, uh, interceptions matter, it, it's yards, it, it's about wins, right? And so managing all those expectations and, and just focusing on doing your job at the highest level is the most important thing for him. Uh, we got to take care of the football. Those things happen for a lot of reasons, you know, the, the turnover things, right? We can take care of the football in the pocket. Pass protection is a part of that. Wide receivers winning on time. Uh, wide receivers being where they're supposed to is a part of the interception game and, and uh, you know, coming down with the ball when, it, when it's in their hands. So uh, there's a lot of things that factor into that. Uh, we want him to be, size, to be decisive. We want him to take care of the football when it's not. And, and the opportunity presents itself, use his feet uh, to continue to move the ball for us. Coach, I know you're not going to make any dramatic you know, statements after day one, but just the eye test, do you feel it's safe to say you're, you're faster, you're more athletic with all the transfers, freshmen coming in? It, it, it looks that way at the skill spots. Yeah, I, I think we're deeper, uh, you know, with, with some of those transfers and the young guys inside of our, our program. Um, the, the people that we've brought into the program, I think we've added athleticism, speed, the ability to move and uh, be in functional football positions. Uh, what our strength staff and nutrition staff has done. Coach Schmidt, uh, his, his uh, strength and conditioning staff, Ethan Bauer, his nutrition staff. Uh, we've dramatically changed the bodies from when we first got here, certainly, but even uh, as we finished last season. Last night, uh, you know, in our team meeting here before we get out uh, on the grass today, the opportunity to just, you know, showcase some of the dramatic improvements that our guys have made. Uh, was a lot of fun, and, and certainly the skill spots, that's absolutely true. Uh, the jumps that, um, you know, Trey Flowers has made or Cedric Tillman, even in their body and, and, and how they can function and play. Then you look at the line of scrimmage, too. You look at Elijah Simmons and, and what he looks like. And, and uh, so uh, really proud of what the guys did since January 24th when they got back. Coach, uh, you, you've touched on, on Cameron Miller, his ability to, to maybe help you guys in different places. He was at, at, at safety today. What went into that position switch from receiver, and, and what are you, maybe his short-term and out-term, yeah, or short, um, long-term you know, outlook there? Uh, from the time that we recruited him, uh, viewed him as a football player. That's how he views himself, too. He doesn't really care what, what he's playing. And, and uh, as we you know, got through spring ball, it just felt like um, him, his skill set, opportunity to compete, make an impact. Um, was, uh, was probably on the other side of the football here uh, the earliest. And, and uh, uh, his attitude and, and want to uh, are unquestioned by anybody, you know, his players uh, in the locker room or our staff. And, and uh, excited to see him grow here during the course of training camp. You know, it's his first time playing that position. A lot of things are happening. It's different. Um, but uh, he's been really diligent in the, in the building. You know, I mean, spent a bunch of extra time this summer uh, learning what we're doing uh, schematically. Josh, NFL teams in fall training camp are now wearing those guardian caps that you guys have been wearing all over the helmets for a while. Yeah. Has your health staff shared any sort of stats or feedback as to how much that's helping the student athlete with the with the helmet contact? Yeah, you know, you, you talk about concussions, repetitive uh, hits. I think player safety is at the forefront now of what the NCAA is trying to do, what everybody's trying to do across the country, the NFL as well. We've been doing it here for, for a long time. Um, you know, we've been fortunate. We, at the end of you know a training camp or end of the season, we always go back with our medical and strength and conditioning staff and look at the injuries. Um, you know, concussions are a major part of what we look at. How do we prevent? How do we put them in a, in a position to stay healthy? 
in the immediate but long term too, and, and uh, our medical staff does a fantastic job. I wish I was smart enough to, to recall every stat uh, on that. I can't. There is a dramatic uh, improvement in, in keeping kids healthy on, on the uh, concussion side from those uh, caps. Being in air. Josh, just how much has Jalen Hyatt improved from the final day of last season to today, uh, first day of camp? Yeah, even in, uh, in the middle part of last year, his, his focus and attention to detail, uh, he understood that it needed to change, and he started making those changes. Dramatically different from the time that we got back in January. We talked earlier about guys that have changed their body. Like He's added a ton of size and strength, uh, maturity to his frame. I think that's gained a lot of confidence for him in how he plays with a physical presence. And that can be in one-on-one -on -one matchups. It can be blocking on the perimeter. It can be the way uh, he presents himself and, and finishes plays when he has the ball in his hands, too. Um, all of those factors uh, you know, give him the ability uh, to have a, a big year for us this year. Eric? Josh, could there be a situation this season when, uh, to help with pass protection, uh, maybe you put Warren or Fan back in the backfield on third downs? or? or maybe kind of utilize them in that role in the backfield as well? Nah, not, not right now. Um, you know, the running backs that we have on campus, um, the guys that have been uh, spending time, um, want to develop them here through training camp, give them the opportunity uh, to showcase that they're going to play at a, at a really high level and earn trust from our coaching staff and from the players around them and, and pass pro and when the ball's in their hands too. Today, day one, um, you know, without watching the film, I, you know, I thought the two young running backs, Justin and, and Dylan, had a really good day. There's some things that they did. Uh, that popped out uh, to me as, as a coach. And some of that was with the ball in their hands, some of it was without it. Came in the back. Hey, Coach, uh, seeing Brew out there practicing today, uh, if he gets cleared, what does he bring to the table to this team? And also, Squirrel White looked awfully fast and quick out there. What, yeah. what does he bring as well? He's not slow, that's for sure. Uh, squirrel, squirrel's uh, competitive, really smart, uh, mature in, in the way that he handles himself in the building, in the meeting room. Uh, physically taking care of his body, uh, his ability uh, for the game not to be moving too fast, really almost from day one in, in the way that he's you know, handled what we do offensively. Um, you know, he needs to have a, a great camp for us and, and believe that, that he will. Uh, he's truly fearless. Um, you know, he's not the biggest guy, um, but he is uh, fearless. He's going to stick his face in, in any physical situation that he needs to. Brew, you know, big, strong, long out on the, the perimeter. He's learned how to play in, in our offensive system and, and how to play from the whistle of the previous snap to the snap of the next one. Um, you know, for him, I think he's gained a, a much better understanding of that throughout the course of the summer. You know, the first couple of weeks of June, so dramatically different than by the time we got to July with him. Um, you know, he's a guy that's played college football, right, and uh, competed at a high level. Uh, that maturity is something that uh, is uh, an advantage for him. Uh, in coming here and transitioning uh, to, to our football program. Brent Austin. Coach, I know you haven't seen the film, but you've been through a lot of opening days in, in your career as player, assistant, head coach. What does a good day one look like? When you go watch the film in a bit, what, what do you need to see to say that was a good start? What, what are you looking for? Yeah, some of the things you see out on the practice field, efficiency, uh, the ability to take coaching, the ability for players to coach each other, uh, some of the intangible things that we spent so much time on and those things showed up, and they showed up today in a, in a really big way. Um, uh, the small things add up to the big things that everybody sees. So uh, I like a lot of what we saw that, you know, some of that I won't even be able to see on the film as we go back. Uh, you know, you go back and watch the film, the X's and O's, the, the fundamentals and technique. Um, you're going to see, hopefully, a growth from where we finished in spring ball uh, to where they are now in, in understanding how to play. And that's different at every position. Uh, you want to see functional movement uh, improve. And, and uh, I thought we saw that, you know, year two for us as a program. Our players know the standards and expectations. You can hear them talking about it, uh, coaching each other up. I thought uh, just the overall practice flow, um, you know, the, uh, um, the efficiency of everything that we're doing from staff uh, to medical staff, all that uh, is, uh, was, was good to see. Coach, I'm sure you've seen Wesley Walker and, and Andre Turntine in summer weight room stuff. But to get out there on the field with them today, what did you see? And then maybe mentally, what did you pick up on that you, you like about what they bring? Yeah, I think both are very coachable. Uh, they have a high care factor. Uh, they have good uh, football IQ and understanding. Uh, Wesley, the amount of time that he's been in college football, he's able to, to take a scheme that he's ran before and, and transitioned it into the verbiage that we have. 
Um, and, uh, and that way, I think, uh, not seamless, but it's been a, a fluid transition for him. He made a big play out there today. Want to see those guys compete in every area. Um, that's, you know, special teams. It's on the defense side of the football. Um, you know, there's a lot of opportunity to earn reps on the defense side of the football. You heard me, you heard Coach Banks yesterday talk about us having to play more guys to have competition. We need more guys to, to show that they're going to play at a championship level. Um, but those two guys, um, you know, bring some of the, the football movement that we wanted, and they have a high care factor. <clears throat> Josh, when you look at the transfer portal and how everything's gone down over the last six to 12 months, and then you look at a player like Joe Milton, who, there could have been opportunities to go try to find potentially another starting role somewhere else. For him to stick with the program, and he was talking about yesterday his relationship with Hendon Hooker, and I know you've talked about that yeah. a good amount, but what does that say about somebody like Joe who's willing to stick in, try to fight for that starting job, and like he said yesterday, an ankle sprain away from being the guy? Yeah, it's a great lesson for everybody in our program. We talk about that. Uh, you want to be ready when your opportunity comes and, and uh, prepare that way uh, to take advantage of it. Uh, I think it speaks to the unique relationship um, that uh, exists in that quarterback room. Uh, I believe that it you know, exists in, in all of our position rooms. But to be able to, to compete fiercely uh, with somebody but also um, be you know, great friends off of the game, uh, outside of the game, um, is. Uh, uh, speaks to both of their maturity. It speaks to Joe. Uh, I think it speaks to the culture of what we have inside of the building as far as, far as a full team inside of that locker room. It speaks to um, you know what we're doing offensively and him believing that he can grow in our system and put himself in the right position long term. And uh, uh, it speaks to his maturity as well that uh, he's willing to look at the video, you know what I mean, have a, a true sense of here are the areas that I got to get better to maximize my talent and put myself in uh, a position to be the best player that I possibly can. And being able to will and willing to, to go through that process. And uh, you've seen, you know, guys that stuck around uh, a year ago with the transition uh, of, of our football staff. You look at a Theo Jackson a year ago who hadn't played anything but special teams for five years that stays the course, that invests, and then uh, cashes in on that investment on the back end of his career. Uh, it's a great testimony to, to those types of individuals, and it's a great lesson for everybody inside of our program. Josh, two things I'll ask him one at a time. How do you size up the tackle, offensive tackle competition with those main four guys? Yeah, in great competition. Um, you know, everybody that is competing there um, is long, they're athletic, um, and uh, their best football is in front of them. They're in a race to get there as fast as they can. Uh, at the end of the day, believe that the depth of that position is going to be important. We're going to need all those guys. That showed up, showed up a year ago, too, just as you go through the season. And how different is Kelsey Pope now as opposed to the when he started, you know, earlier and going into the spring? And now that he's been able to kind of get that recruiting, you said that was a little bit different for him at the time. In the meeting room on, on the field, I don't think anybody would, would say he's much different. Does, does he grow and get better every single day? Yeah, absolutely. But uh, who he is, how he communicates, how he handles himself, um, that hasn't, you know, dramatically changed. That is a big reason why we hired him. He was, without a doubt, the right guy for the job. The recruiting side of it, didn't worry about that. Recruiting is about relationships and being able to show kids that you can help them achieve all their goals and dreams on the field and off the field. Uh, there's nobody better suited in, in college football than him to, to do that to a wide receiver position. We'll finish with Wes. Josh, how much growth and development have you seen from Jeremy Banks since you got here and, and what's sort of the next step for him as a player? Yeah, uh, we talk about accountability. Um, it's one of the, the core beliefs in, in you know, any relationship that we have and who we have to be from, from coaches to, to everybody in the building, players included. Uh, he's grown a bunch in that. Along with that, I think just the trust of, of our staff, uh, the process that we're taking him through, him understanding the why of, of what we're doing. Uh, those are all big factors to, to create and buy in with him. And as he continues to go grow through this training camp, and he's played a lot of football, but there's still a ton of room of, of growth for him, uh, for him to, to maximize his talents and be in the right place at the right time to make the play when it presents himself. Uh, excited to see his development and growth here even this, during the course of this training camp. Thank you, Coach. All right. You guys have a great day.